Hey, hi, hello, my name is Soraya. Today we're going to be continuing Murdered Soul Suspect. Um, we are, we just found out that Baxter this whole time was innocent. And that the ghost, Abigail, that we met at the very beginning of the game when we first died, is the one behind all of these killings, but we just don't know who she's possessing yet. So now, maybe we're gonna find out. No idea when we're gonna find out, but let's get into the game. Oh God, what have I done? Do I really need Rick? And Laura too. They're dead. Oh, it's all my fault. We were just having fun. It was it was an accident. I, I, I didn't mean to hurt anyone. I, I, I can't even remember doing it. Hey, hey, hey. Calm down for a second and talk to me. What's your name? Uh, oh, uh... Brad. Good. Now, tell me what happened. I don't know. We were... Out in the town, blowing off some steam. One drink turned into three, and three turned into... Who knows how many? Ugh, the details are hazy. I, I, I must have been driving Rick and Laura home when... Oh, God. I killed them. I'll never forgive myself for doing this. You don't know if you did. You said it yourself. The details are hazy. Now, I can take a look around here and... See if anything jumps out at you. God, what have I done? Uh, scotch whiskey. Hmm. <laughs> Be red. This must be Brad's car. Um. Oh. Huh. Gas station receipt. Not much, but it's something. Gas station's not far from here. I should check it out. Okay. Ooh. Oh, there it is. Okay. Well, it's like, but where? It's just around the wall. Suck. Refueling woman. I didn't know you were such a lightweight. That was really loud for me. Sorry. That caught me off guard. Vomiting man. Ew. Brad? Cab. What? Oh. Uh. Gas station. Yeah. The SOC. Okay. Great. Okay. Yeah, I heard that. But... It sounded like glass? Trash can? Tail light fragments?
What does he remember about maybe the uh, loud bang? change what happened, but he'll be glad to know he wasn't the one behind the wheel. Does SOC gas ring any bells? Wait. I remember stopping to, uh, Fill up. You guys did more than fill up. The cashier wasn't thrilled to clean up after your buddy Rick. You even tried to call a cab. God, I, I don't remember any of that. When the cashier came storming out, you guys took off with Laura behind the wheel. So, I wasn't driving. Oh. Oh. That whole night was a disaster. Hard to accept my part in things, but at least I know it wasn't all my fault. I don't uh, know what to say. Uh, thank you. Let's go. That fucking sucks. Don't drink and drive. Don't. Just do not. Just there's Uber. There's Lyft. Please. Literally anything but that. Proceeding to the final encounter will make it impossible to return to Salem? Final encounter? No one deserves to be murdered. And when the psycho trying to kill someone pretends there's some grand justice behind it, that just makes it all the more twisted. Another step. No, not you, Rex. This has nothing to do with her, Abigail. Oh, but it does. For 300 years, we have executed the witches who corrupt our fair city. Down there, let's go. Those who try to mask their demonic contract and leverage powers they should never possess. Just like you have. Don't you dare compare me to her! <laughs> easy, easy. Put your hands up! Help! Don't do anything stupid. Hands up. Stop what you're doing. Hands up. Do it now. Have a go. Stop. Rex, you piece of shit. What are you doing? You. I want you getting closer to the truth. Ronan, do something! Hold tight, kid. I'm on my way.
It's over, Abigail. Time is upon us, Abigail Williams. No. You scourge of Salem, it is time to pay for your sin. This can't be happening. You want to use memories against me? You can play up that game. <laughs> the truth about your death, but I still don't know the truth about mine. Did you use Rex to kill me? Rex was my most influential. The most respected, most feared official in town. Of course I did. Rex have done it. Rose's killer had blue eyes. I didn't use the same killer for every murder. Baxter. Why did you kill Baxter? I eventually kill all the killers I use. I wasn't close to the truth in the apartment. I wasn't one of your killers. Why did I have to die? No. I wouldn't. Fucking way. No. No, no. I, I wouldn't. How could I? You made me kill her. Hell yeah! It's what she deserves. Did Joy leave? Okay, good. <sighs> we all got a dark side, sometimes obvious, sometimes not. If we're lucky, we keep our dark side hidden. By law, Rex was a killer. But the law doesn't always see the truth. Fortunately, Joy did. And she would never press charges. <laughs> she might even help Rex cover his tracks. One thing's for certain. She's a better person than I was at that age. 
kid who deserves forgiveness. She's paid her dues. And committing a few small crimes searching for your mom, well, even the coldest cops would forgive those. Mom! Hasn't been a bell killer murder since the night Abigail met her final end. But the case never officially closed. But memories fade, time heals. With luck, Salem will move on and find peace. Death repays debts, my father always said. Forever I believe that. But truth be told, this life ain't over until you're honest about what you owe. Set everything right. Settle your debts. Only then can you move on. Ronan? We did it! Wow. That was such a good game. I did not expect that we were going to be the first, like, killer. Wow. Well, there you have it. We, uh... Completed murder soul suspect. Not 100%, but... Oh, man. That was a really, really good game. I hope that you guys enjoyed it as well. If you did, please like, comment, and subscribe. Comment who you thought at first was the bell killer. Did you expect this to be the ending? Because I didn't. But, uh, yeah. Thank you for watching. Bye!